All right, so this is how you draw the brachial plexus. If you do this, you know, a few times, a good 10 times, um, you're gonna learn how to draw it and you'll get it right every time. So we know, the break, we know that the brachial plexus goes from the fifth cervical root to the, fir to the first thoracic root, right? So we're gonna start by, uh, by, by, uh, by writing out just that. So we're gonna say C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1, okay? After that, we're gonna draw three Ys, one V, one X, and one W, just like this. Here is the first Y. I'll make it a little bit longer. Here is the second Y, it goes the opposite way. Here is the third Y. Then we're gonna draw a V and an X and then a W. So this is the V. There's the V. This is the X. And this is the W. Okay. So after that, we are going to add the nomenclature. Uh, of the brachial plexus. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna name the roots and the cords. I mean, the the trunks and the cords. The trunks and the cords. We're gonna name them. These are the. This here are the trunks. This here are the cords, and this here are the branches, I believe, or the nerves. Just the nerves. Okay, so trunks, cords, and branches or nerves. We're gonna name them from left to right. So from left to right, they're gonna be named like this. This is gonna be the upper trunk. So these are the trunks, right? Trunks. This is gonna be the upper. This is gonna be the middle. This is gonna be the lower, okay? Now, the cords are named in a little bit of a different way. So these are gonna be the cords. They're gonna be named lateral, posterior, and medial, okay? Posterior is gonna be the one in the middle. And then we're gonna have lateral and medial. Lateral goes opposite, L goes to opposite to L. So lateral goes opposite to lower, lateral. And then uh, this one is medial. Finally, we're gonna go ahead and name the, um, the, the branches, which are the actual nerves of the of the brachial plexus they're going to be named ummra 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 okay very easily like this u m m r a okay and you remember that u is down here because i use a mnemonic that goes ulnar goes under okay ulnar goes under so this is the ulnar nerve, okay? The one in the middle is gonna be the median nerve, and the other one is gonna be the musculocutaneous. Musculocutaneous, okay? These other two are gonna be just the radial and the ax axillary, ax axillary and radial. So it's gonna be radial, arp radial, and this is gonna be axillary. Finally, there is one more nerve that we need to account or uh, that we need to um, to um, to draw here. It's gonna be the long thoracic nerve. Long thoracic nerve has, um, long thoracic, long thoracic nerve um, has components from the C5, C6, and C7, okay? Roots, so we're gonna draw it like this, C5. C6 and C7, okay? I'm gonna draw it just like this. Like that, like that, like that, okay? And it's gonna have nothing from C8 and T8 and T1. 
is going to be long thoracic. Okay. And that's it. That's the brachial plexus. The, this, this here are obviously your cords. All right. That's it. Very easily. Five minutes.